Have you ever been in this position? You just finished a quilt and you're so happy and you want to share it with everyone, but there's no place in your house that's big enough to show it. Maybe it's winter time and it's too dark in the house to be able to take a good photograph. Maybe the quilt is big and you need a place to really spread out and show it. Maybe you're just tired of the same old backgrounds for your quilts every single time. What I've done in these kinds of situations is to take the quilt outside. Hello everyone, this is Shalina. Welcome to my channel, Quilt and Color, where I talk about all things related to art. You don't have to go to a very special place. Sometimes I don't have a lot of time. So sometimes I just like to go to a building like my workplace or a school that I can just use the bricks in the background. That works well for the quilt. But other times what I really like to do is to go for a walk at a park. That way I can go all the way around the park, scope out some nice locations and, and show my quilt in more than one location and more than one position so I can get a large variety of shots to really showcase the quilt. And it's really easy to do this. Take your quilt to a park where there's lots of greenery and you can take advantage of the scenery and the weather. One thing that I worried about when I was taking my quilt out for the first time for a walk is what other people would think. Will they approach me? Will they ask me questions? Will they bother me in any way? And really I found that most people just leave me alone when I'm taking photographs. There was one time when people were really watching, but that was because I was using some construction equipment that had been parked there at the school and they probably just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to destroy the equipment. They didn't say anything to me, but they were just watching to make sure that I wasn't going to damage anything. The basics that you need to take your quilt for a photo shoot is very simple. You just need a camera and you need your quilt. That's really all you have to have. There are some additional supplies that you can take with you besides your quilt and your camera, but it's all optional. Just remember that you're going to have to carry it around with you, especially if you're going for a walk afterwards. And so you want to make sure that everything is lightweight so it's not too heavy for you to carry. There's other supplies that you may want to use like a sheet to put underneath your quilt in order to keep your quilt clean. But otherwise you can go ahead and just wash a quilt in the washing machine when you get done. So it's not a big deal. I can put the sheet on the ground and then put the quilt on top of it. And that gives me a chance to make sure that the quilt stays clean while I'm taking the photographs. Or I can make sure that I take photos of the quilt in a way where it doesn't get dirty. You may want to take some extra supplies like an extra battery or an extra memory card just to make sure that no matter how much time you take that you can still keep taking photos throughout, the, throughout your walk. Or usually I just empty out the memory card and charge up my batteries before I go. I also like to make sure that I have some water to drink and some wipes to wipe off the camera lens if I need to do that. And it's nice to bring some snacks or a meal to give to the people who are with you just to thank them for the work, for the work that they did for you. Another thing that I have is a quilt holding system. I have a rack that I've purchased that holds up the quilt that keeps the people from getting too tired from having to hold it up, but it does take some time to set it up and dis disassemble it. So that limits the number of places where you can take the quilt. I used this hanging system recently for the inspirational quote blocks quilt. And basically we just took a video of the quilt using the hanging system. The rest of the time we just held up the quilt to take pictures of it. A tripod or a gimbal would also help you make sure that you have steady hands while you take the photographs or videos. Taking a quilt outside just helps you take advantage of the settings. You just have to be creative with the setting and how you're going to display your quilt using that setting. Now when you go out on your walk, you can find any kinds of locations. You may want to take your photographs on the ground or on the bench or on a log. I like to put my quilt on pretty fallen leaves, for example, or on fresh mowed grass. And I can keep the sheet underneath it to keep my quilt from getting dirty. And you could also use hooks or command strips to hold up your quilt on um, a fence, for example, or on a wall. Um, I haven't done that very much, but it has, that is a possibility. So I like to just take some extra hooks just in case I need them. Of course, the easiest thing to do is to take a person to go with you. They, they can help you carry supplies and they can also help hold up the quilt so that you can take pictures of it. 
But if you don't have a person to go with you, don't worry about that. There's still plenty of different ways that you can show your quilt that doesn't require another person. But if you do want a quilt held up, you can either ask a passerby or you can buy a quilt stand that you can hold the quilt up using that. I'll put a link to the description box for the stand that I use. If you're worried about the camera being shaky, you could also have a tripod or a gimbal. Sometimes I like to use a tripod so that I can also be in the shot at the same time and I can, it also gives me a chance to show the back of the quilt that way without having to turn the whole setup around. The best thing to do is to get creative with the setting and just see what kinds of possibilities there are available to you. If you do have somebody helping you hold up the quilt, you do have to remember that it is something that is painful if you have to keep holding the quilt for a long period of time. So what I like to do is to plan my shots ahead of time, know exactly what I'm gonna do, so that once they hold up the quilt, then it's just a matter of taking a quick shot and then they can put their hands back down again. Also, I like to make sure that I'm thinking about whether or not I want the feet and the legs to show. And if I don't, I can ask them to bend down a little bit so that the quilt is close to the ground and so the feet and the legs won't show. But remember, that's also gonna be a very awkward position, so you wanna take the photograph as fast as you can. Another way to do that is to find a bridge that you can hang the quilt over, and that way the bridge will keep the legs from being able to show. I'm curious, have you ever taken your quilt out for a walk? Do you like to take photographs outside? Please let me know in the comments below. I think it's a great way to get a variety of shots in a and let your quilt air out a little bit and get a variety of settings. Sometimes I get tired of taking photographs of my quilts inside the house because there's a limited number of locations to choose from and I have to make sure that the house is all clean. A chance to air out my quilts and get some air and sunshine for myself as well. And if you take somebody with you, you get the companionship and the fun of being with them as well. And it's fun to go for a walk after you're done with the photo shoot so that you can get some exercise as well. I hope these tips are helpful to you. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.